Welcome to Equistex videos. This video shows how to set the Lantronics Comport Redirector for the DL4500. Start the Comport Redirector. Click on COM Setup. It will come up with a COM Setup window. Select any communication port that is available in your PC, then click on OK. The COM port number you set here will be used to set up your serial DF1 driver, as we will show that in another video. Once you do that, you will notice your selected COM port number and port configuration in front of where it says Redirect. Click on Add IP. Here you enter the DL4500 IP address as the host. The TCP port, the DL4500 was set to use in Telnet settings, which you had set it to either 3001 or 10001. Here we will show the settings for both 3001 and 10001. We will start with the 10001. So type in 10001, click on OK. Now that you can see the DL4500 IP address with its port 10001 here, click on Port Settings. Make sure when using the 10001 port that you check only the following. Timeout Reconnect, Server Reconnect, raw mode, then click on OK. If your DF1 driver, like in RS Lynx, is running as a service, which means you do not start RS Lynx or your DF1 driver manually, then please click on Advanced and select Run as a Service as well and click on OK. Otherwise, just click on Save. It will ask to restart to take effect. This concludes setting the COM port redirector. Now, if you're using port 3001, we will repeat right from where we click on Add IP. Here you enter the DL4500 IP address as the host and the TCP port that you set at 3001. Click on Port Settings. Please make sure that when using the 3001 port that you check only the following. Timeout Reconnect server reconnect, force v2 protocol, and then click OK. Again, if your DF1 driver, like in RS Lynx, is running as a service, which means you do not start RS Lynx or your DF1 driver manually, then please click on Advanced and select Run as a Service as well and click on OK. Otherwise, just click on Save. It will ask to restart to take effect. And this concludes setting the COM port redirector.